Hello, I'm Vishal, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to raise a request for change for cross-account access to Amazon Simple Storage Service buckets that are in different AWS Managed Services accounts. Let's get started. Because this is a request for cross-account access, you need two RFCs. One from account A for creating the IAM role and user and the other from account B for updating the S3 bucket policy. Let's assume that account A has the AWS identity and access management user or role and account B has the S3 bucket. This IAM role in account A will be used to access the S3 bucket in account B. Let's start with the RFC for account A. Login to the AWS management console and then navigate to the AMS console. After logging in to the AMS console in account A, select RFC on the left side of the screen. Select Create RFC. Select Select by Category. If you already have an IAM role, then you can edit the existing role by choosing the following options. For category, select Management. For subcategory, select Advanced Stack Components. For item, select Identity and Access Management. For operation, select Update Entity or Policy. To create a new IAM identity, choose the following options. For category, select Deployment. For subcategory, select Advanced Stack Components. For item, select Identity and Access Management. For operation, select Create Entity or Policy. Select Next. Enter a related subject for the RFC. Optionally, provide an email address for notification and a description. Schedule your RFC or submit it immediately. Select Next. Enter a use case for your RFC. Under Additional Configuration, select the resource such as the IAM user, role, or policy that you are trying to create. In this example, I am creating an IAM role. Enter the value for role name. As an example, I would be adding the name S3 access role. This is the IAM role that will access the S3 bucket. Then, enter the value for trust policy. Here, I would be using an, an EC2 trust policy. Under role permissions, add the actions that you need permissions for, like get object, put object, list, and so on. Then add the name of the bucket in account B. If the bucket uses default encryption, add the AWS Key Management Service Key ID for the bucket in account B. If there is no encryption taking place, then you can skip providing the KMS key. Adding tags is optional and you can add them according to your own requirement. Select Create. Your RFC is now created. Now, let us create the account B RFC. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the AMS Console. After logging into the AMS Console in account B, select RFC on the left side of the screen. Select Create RFC. Select by Category. For category, select Management. 
For subcategory, select Other. For item, select Other. For operation, select Update. Select Next. Enter a related subject for the RFC. Optionally, provide an email address for notification and a description. Schedule your RFC or submit it immediately. Select Next. Provide the following information in the RFC comment section. The Amazon resource name of the IAM entity in account A. Name of the S3 bucket in account B. The permissions that the IAM entity in account A needs to access the S3 bucket in account B. AMS will automatically update the S3 bucket policy to allow access for the IAM entity. You can directly add a bucket policy as well. Provide the KMS key ID for the S3 bucket encryption. AMS will automatically update the KMS key as well. Note that the KMS key cannot be an AWS managed key for the service such as an AWS S3 key. It should be a customer managed KMS key. If the bucket uses an Amazon server side encryption key that is SSE S3 AES256, no changes are needed on encryption size as it is managed by S3 completely. Under additional configuration, you can add priority of your RFC as well. In the related IDs section, add the RFC ID of the RFC that you created in account A. Once you have added the information, select Create. Your RFC is now created. Now you know how to raise RFCs for cross-account S3 bucket access. The AMS team will review your requests and respond accordingly. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.